The House committee investigating the January 6th riots shows us more of what former President Donald Trump was doing during those 187 minutes. ABC's Jay O'Brien reports. Top Trump advisors, lifelong Republicans, telling the January 6th committee as the Capitol was under siege and the peaceful transfer of power at risk, they pleaded with former President Donald Trump to tell his supporters to go home. The committee also hearing from two White House staffers who resigned in the insurrection's aftermath. That the president needed to condemn the violence. You could count me among those who was uh, hoping to see an unequivocal, strong statement uh, clearing out the Capitol. But Trump waited 187 minutes to tell his violent supporters to leave. Phone records and witness statements obtained by the committee show the then commander in chief never called for law enforcement or military help. Instead, calling Republican senators to lobby them to stall the electoral college certification while the mob was storming the Capitol. The committee playing radio traffic from anxious Secret Service members in Vice President Mike Pence's detail as rioters threatened to hang him. They are on the second floor, moving in now. An anonymous White House official telling lawmakers they heard over the radio Secret Service agents calling their families to say goodbye, saying they weren't sure they'd survive. Sources telling ABC News Trump took an hour to eventually record this three-minute message, but the committee says the video outtakes show he strayed from prepared remarks that would have condemned his supporters and acknowledged he lost the election. I don't want to say the election's over. The political breach between Trump and Pence will be on display in Arizona Friday as the two men campaign for competing candidates for governor. Trump supporting a candidate who's embraced his election fraud lies, while Pence is backing a more mainstream Republican primary opponent. During Thursday's hearing, Adam Kinzinger, one of the two Republicans on the panel, urging the Department of Justice to charge Trump with a crime. There's no way we recover from it if we say what happened in 2020 was okay. Trump has continued calling the committee's investigation one-sided. Now, the panel promises to hold more hearings in September after gathering additional evidence.